All right, it's the first weekend of February. And you know, one of the questions I, I get a lot and I see a lot on the internet is, how do you find big bucks? Uh, this is how you do it. You get your butt up at 448. So I've been up since about 330. I've got my kayak loaded. I've got a camera in my backpack. I got a day's worth of food and some water and stuff. But basically you have to get out there. Uh, you can't sit and read on the internet and look at aerial photographs, topographical maps. Now, all that helps, but that's not what's going to help you kill a big buck. You actually got to put some boots on the ground and get out there and, and find where these bucks are bedding up. And there's no better time than immediately following the season, especially if you can find, if you can get out scouting immediately after the gun season, comes to a close when you jump deer during that time when you find where they're staying you're going to identify a place where they feel secure when they're pressured and let's face it on most public land even through bow season there's pressure out there and it's not just deer hunting i get absolutely sick and tired of hearing some of the northern states complain about pressure because they have so many deer hunters well let me tell you down south Starting in early September, we have people from all over the country coming for dove season. And then in late September, we have early till season. And all through October, November, December, January, we've got quail. We've got small game. We've got people hunting hogs. We've got deer hunting. We've got turkey hunting. We've got goose and duck hunting throughout the whole season. So, you know... <laughs> The the fact is, on in most states nowadays, you're going to have to deal with pressure. Uh, even the nature hikers are out there now. People looking for mushrooms. That, I mean, there's just all kinds of people out in public land. And public land's getting smaller and smaller as populations get larger and larger. So, I encourage you, get out there immediately after season. If you're ever fortunate enough to tag out early, get out there and scout. Now, I don't say get out there and interrupt other people's hunting areas, but find where they're not going. And that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to get out there, and I've got a new area. It's February. There's still duck and goose hunters out, but I'm going to hump it, and I'm going to cover a lot of ground. And I'll probably put out one camera if I find a good scrape or something, but I'm going to put some boots on the ground, and I'm going to find out where these deer are bedding now. After being pressured for the last two to three months, I'm going to find out where they feel safe now. And I'm going to prep my stands in those locations for next year. Because I know as soon as the dove hunters in September start pounding those fields and stuff, they're going to relocate to these hidey holes. All right? So how do you find big bucks? You do all your research. Not going to say not do that. Get, a, get those aerial photographs. Get those topography maps. Get on the internet, do your research. But the bottom line is, once you get done with that phase, get up out of bed, even when it's cold, and get out there and scout. Cover your ground thoroughly, check all the areas where bucks like the bed, but also locate them does. Uh, October, November, and even into December, the number one thing on a buck's mind is not food, it's does. So they will still eat, They'll still bed, they'll still drink, but it'll always be in relation to where the local doe population that's coming into heat is located. So key in on those doe areas, put them on your GPS, mark them on your maps. Anyway, I'll make some videos as we get out there today. I'm excited. I've been out in this area one time before. I hunted it a total of one day. There's a mile or two of this place that I've never looked at. Uh, but it's going to be about a mile uh, kayak trip after a two-hour drive, a mile kayak trip. And then I'm going to beach my kayak, and I've got probably two miles of good riverfront property that I'm going to be scouting, and, and I'm going to cover pretty thoroughly. So I'll make some more videos as we go through there. All right, come along.